All right, let's take a look at different types of essays. After all, you might have to write one at the end of this exam. We've got a speculative essay. It just kind of explores ideas rather than explaining them. This is the main difference. It may not have an explicit thesis like other types of essays. It kind of meditates on ideas. Uh, there might even be an interchange of narration in response to that. We've got the expository essay. This is an explanation or clarification of an idea or theme. Students might be most familiar with this type of essay. There might be an element of narration to it also, but there's definitely an element of argumentation. We've got the persuasive essay, where the writer tries to convince the reader of her or his point of view. We have the analytical essay, where a work of art, a play, or a book is analyzed. Uh, this is another one you may have done for your classes. We've got an argumentative essay where the writer argues that her or his opinion or theory about an issue is correct above the opinions of others on the same issue. So in this way it's similar but different from a persuasive essay. So the essays, unlike novels and short stories, are nonfiction. Thus the form is different. The writer is presenting an idea and not telling a story. Also, the voice is not that of a narrator, but the author herself who speaks to the reader. And the structure is such that if you change the structure of an essay, it would lose its meaning. And that's because the flow of logic and presentations of ideas um, has a certain structure and sequence to it that best fits its type. And if this is changed around, it wouldn't be an essay anymore. It would just be a bunch of sentences.